We've completed the hand wash process. Now we're gonna move on to the drying portion of the car, which is half the game of cleaning your car without scratching or marring it. And we're gonna show you the Gloss Glosset Microfiber Towel, which is a premium towel that will not introduce any scratching mar into your finish. So let's move on to the next portion and we're gonna talk about how to dry the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate how to properly dry it. And there's a couple techniques that we can use. One of the techniques is what we call the blotting technique. We actually just blot the paint as we dry it so we're not dragging any dirt that could be sitting or blowing around from the wind when you wash your car. So we're gonna go ahead and do the blotting process. And this is the process that I recommend if you don't want to scratch your car, you spend a lot of time polishing it, getting that great finish with the gloss of products. So we're going to go ahead and do the blotting process. A lot of guys will drag across the towel and the finish and end up pulling any dirt that might be sitting on the car across the finish, causing more scratching. So let's go ahead and just continue to blot this part of the hood. And then turn the towel over and then re-blot. Now the same is going to go for the fenders, where you just want to blot it. And this towel does a great job absorbing the water. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same process in the front. We're just going to blot it. And as you can see, the towel is not soaking wet. It still has plenty of absorption. And we're going to go ahead and dry the other side of the hood now. And again, you want to start from the outside of the hood, work your way inside, and continue just to blot. I know this seems like a lot of work when we do it this way, and some guys will drag it across the finish, but I don't recommend that if you have a dark color vehicle, because you don't want to pull dirt across and scratch the surface, and then have to get inside and start polishing the car after you just did it the weekend before. So, this takes a little bit more time, but let me tell you something, it's well worth it not getting scratched up and swirled all after all your hard work. We've completed the drying of the vehicle, so now we're gonna move on to the next essential step in washing your car is using a quick detailer. Why do we wanna use a quick detailer? Because sometimes, depending on the soap and the water you use, it's gonna leave a residual film. We wanna remove that, and the safest way to do that is with our Gloss Enhancer Quick Detailer. This product was developed not just to clean the finish, but also contains a small percentage of our famous gloss polymer that we use to add like a wax-like appearance to your vehicle's finish. So we're gonna go over proper application and talk about the benefits of the Gloss Enhancer Quick Detailer. Basically, we're gonna turn our trigger to a fan spray pattern, and we're gonna start off in, with the hood of the car. As you can see, I'm using very little product. We're also gonna use one of our ultra plush microfiber towels. Now these towels, folks, are the finest towels you can buy on the market. Gloss has spent a lot of time researching microfiber, and we learned that the over-the-counter towels that you buy from the auto parts stores or from your super stores, these towels scratch and they can mar the finish. But with the gloss of towels, these are the highest quality micro microfiber. When you run your hands through it, it's very, very soft, and that's important when using a quick detailer. So now we sprayed the finish, we're gonna fold our towel into a square pattern, and we're gonna use one side as a wet side and one side as a dry side. So we're gonna take the gloss enhancer, and we're gonna work in a back and forth overlapping motion, spreading the product out in half of the hood. As you can see, it's quickly evaporating, leaving no grease or any streaking. Then we're gonna flip our pad or our towel over one more time, and then we're gonna go ahead and re-wipe any excess product that's still on the finish. And look at that finish, that's just like glass, folks. So what we're looking for here is a streak-free finish after washing our car so that we don't have any residual water marks or soap, any dirt that maybe the wash didn't get off. And the quick detailer doesn't just work on the paint. I'm gonna demonstrate on how the glass, because the polymer is actually gonna put a coating on the glass that acts much like a water repellent product, similar to something they call in the market Rain-X. And it also helps retire bugs from adhering to the glass and the paint. So in a sort, it's almost like a coating or a wax on your finish. And the other thing is all this black trim that you have in a car, most quick detailers were stained or actually cause a film that whites out the trim. Most quick detailers would not be user friendly on this kind of surface vinyl or rubber or what we call black coat finish here. Because what it'll usually do is when you spray the quick detailer, it's gonna leave a residue or stain like a wax 
But what the gloss enhancer will actually do is it'll actually clean this trim so you can use a product like our TRV vinyl rubber protectant on these surfaces to help preserve it. But you want to make sure that you clean it so whatever the soap and water didn't get out, it's going to remove. So basically I can get in these little nooks and crannies. As you can see, it's picking up all the residual dirt that the soap didn't get after washing the vehicle, but the gloss enhancer is going to go ahead and knock that out. And that's another useful thing with the quick detailer by gloss enhancer.